Hi lovelies. So finally, we will talk about some positive, good energy, right? Which is the green flags I told you guys about. Um, here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready for this one. Because the people that do have these things deserve to be praised. Because they are individuals who light up our life, right? Because they truly are putting huge effort into being better versions of themselves every day, right? And we need that because then it mot motivates us to be better people as well. So, uh, I called it potential in partner. So, a man or woman with patience right so it's important that they're patient in any situation because a relationship honestly requires a lot of patience if you didn't know <laughs> a lot because people change people have different paths so you don't understand certain things right away right it's not until the other person is able to share with you why they react to certain things the way they do, you know? So, patience is a big one. Um, a man or woman that has a great bond with women in their family. So, I talked about that in my previous video about people who don't have a good bond. So... In this one, I'll talk about the men who do because they will understand your ins and outs because they'll have um, history in their mind of, you know, things that their mom or sister may go through on a daily basis, monthly basis, you know. And so when they meet you, they'll be able to say, oh, you know, I understand. Like, you don't have to explain to me. I understand. And they'll be catering to that, right? So, um, that's a big thing, too. So, when you see a man that's really close to his mom, that's a green flag, girl. That's a good sign. Because then you know that this man already has a solid bond with a female. So it should encourage you to think that he has the potential to be close to you too. Mind you, it'll never come close to the bond with his mother, right? Or his sister. But the fact that there's potential there, that's really good. Um, another one is... Um, so he's never hesitant to tell you where he is. Or who he's with right so a man who doesn't want to hide anything from you is basically what that's stating you know of him having nothing to hide so always being honest with you no matter what situation pops up right so that's a good sign is that he's not going to worry about hurting you he's going to be honest with you 100 percent, right so that's good uh let's see um another green flag is a man who can lift you when you're down okay because us as women we deal with so much stuff on a daily basis not only like not feeling pretty sometimes right or things at work or things in our mom life that can be overwhelming at times as well but a man who can lift you and say you look gorgeous today or um, things at work will get better soon or you know for him to just hear you out and uplift you and make you feel better it's a really good sign right so don't ignore those things and show him praise for being that way because not everyone is like that 
it's a rare breed these days right um so he he's supportive of all of your dreams and goals so let's say that you guys are talking and you are really passionate about making cupcakes let's say i don't know pastries and you're like oh my god i really love doing this like one day i wish to be able to sell these um and maybe even buy a shop or something you know and if he's sitting there telling you yeah babe whatever you believe in i will support you you know and that that's big that's it should let you know that he believes in you right he believes in whatever you want to put your time and effort into so that's also a green flag yay um great at communicating his worries and concerns so this one is basically basically about like let's say he has hints of jealousy okay because it's not always a bad thing to be jealous but it's the way you go about it so if he tells you um babe i'm not comfortable with i don't know whatever the case may be and he's telling you like this is how he genuinely feels then you're able to cater to him but if he comes at you talking about you need to change you're not leaving this house like that then excuse me what <laughs> you know but if he's sharing his concerns and where they come from because obviously all the concerns and worries we have they come from somewhere it's our past that we have wounds right and so it's important to share these things so that your partner can cater to them. And I mean, if he's able to tell you, he's able to be vulnerable with you and tell you how he really feels, don't be mean, don't be rude. Really take into consideration that he's dropping his pride to tell you these things. So it's your job to recognize that and make him feel better in that situation, right? And you guys can find a compromise. Um, so lastly, um, pushes you to be a better version of yourself. So I basically went over that when I was telling you about the goals and stuff. Like a man who tells you, like how I was saying about the cupcakes, right? That you one day want to sell them. And then he tells you, oh, yeah, babe, if, if you want, if your sales go well, you know, we could get you a shop and we could get you the um, resources you need. And like, so someone who's pushing you to be a better you, or let's say sometimes we're insecure about our weight or I don't know the way we look, the man could say, well, let's both go on a certain type of diet. You know, that's one way he could support you. Or let's both go on a jog or a run every morning or something, you know. Rather than you being on your own or him sending you on your own. Oh, yeah, you could go jog or whatever. No, if he's willing to join you in being a better you, then these are all good things to pay attention to. Because not everyone possesses these qualities. Trust me. I know. So I hope this helps you guys at least a little bit so you can keep your eye out for these things. And if you do see them, then you're on the right track, you know. Um, I got to make another one about guys who try to play you because there's a lot of that too. And I feel like it's not talked about very much either until we get played and they're like, oh, wow. <laughs> right? So I would want you guys to be able to catch that kind of stuff early on. And if you guys have any suggestions for me, and I honestly hope you guys can hear me because I'm in my room. So I know it could be different in sound when I'm in different rooms or whatever. Um, but I hope to hear from you guys soon. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. And take care of yourselves, man. This is a cruel, cruel world out here we're living. 
And so I just hope my small piece of knowledge can help somebody out there, right? Ooh, I have to make one more video. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>